How Open Access Networks Help Bridge the Digital Divide A reliable internet connection is a requirement for modern life, just as roads, water, and electricity. To ensure access for everybody, internet networks need to change. In North America, most fiber networks are owned by private internet providers who only build where their business case is good enough, leaving rural or less affluent areas without. But what if the cost could be shared between many providers, offering a big range of services? There are three layers in a fiber network. The physical infrastructure layer, the active layer of electronics, and the service layer delivering services. In a traditional network, one entity controls it all. In an open access network, the layers are separated so one entity can own and maintain the infrastructure layer and lease it out for others to deliver services. Think of an airport. It is built and maintained by one entity that doesn't operate the airplanes using it. It would be impractical and costly for each airline to build and operate its own airports. And the same goes for fiber networks. The competition between multiple service providers sharing a network brings many benefits. Lower prices, higher quality, and a greater selection of services. This leads to more customers choosing the network and brings the building costs per paying customer down. And that's why open access networks reach more homes and are the best way to bridge the digital divide. Because of the added complexity of multiple parties, an open access network must be managed by purpose-built software as the COS business engine which automates both the business and technical aspects of operating the network. Ready to excel your fiber project? Book a consultation.